If I gave you a coloring book, you wouldn't just use one color for it, right? No, you'd use many colors to make it look as exciting as you can. So why don't we keep that same energy when it comes to our hobbies and our careers? Think of different colors for a coloring book as different activities you can do to make your life more colorful. I'm here today to give you the adult version of You Can Be Anything. Now, I know we've all heard that as kids, but I find that as we grow up, most of us lose sight of that. But I wanna remind you that you can explore anything, you can do multiple things, and you can color outside of the lines. When you color outside of the lines, you can draw your own picture. We are so much more dimensional than the titles that we give ourselves. Let me explain. Hey, so what do you do? I'm an engineer, what about you? <laughs> oh, that's cool, I'm an engineer too. I also play the trumpet sometimes, I'm into managing real estate, and I'm also aspiring to be an actress. Which one of these people exude more creativity? When I was younger, I was involved in a lot of things. I played soccer, I played the trumpet, I was in debate, I tried and failed at many dance classes, but overall I just did things and I felt more creative. And I think we can all agree that kids can be really creative. But it's unfortunate that as we grow, we lose this childlike demeanor of I can do anything. But I wanna encourage us to revert back to that and I have some advice on how we can do that. So the first thing is pick up a new hobby and see what creativity it sparks out of you. It could be anything from playing a new instrument or joining a random class. Just do it and see what it ignites within you. My second piece of advice is to learn for fun. There is nothing stopping you from educating yourself just for the sake of educating yourself. If it interests you, you could read a book about cybersecurity or even cancer research. You never know what you might learn or what it might spark. Third, be creative with your social media. We live in an era where you can live vicariously through those that post content about their hobbies and their careers. You might think it has nothing to do with you, but you never know what you might learn from them or what um, creativity it might spark within you. Now, if you're listening to me and you're like, nah, I'd rather just stick to what I know. That's okay, I have some advice for you too. Use your unique experiences to help others. So I read a book um, about cancer research and I was surprised when I learned that medical doctors were reaching out to NASA scientists for help with their cancer research. Now the scientists at NASA were not like, nah buddy, can't help you there, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> no, they, um, they use their unique knowledge to help the medical doctors think differently about the problem and use a different approach. And you can do the same thing. Use your unique knowledge to help others. Steve Jobs once said that inspiration can come from the most quotidian things. Anything and everything in life can inspire you to invent, create, or innovate something that can change the world. Now I know that there are some barriers to this, such as you know opinions from those that we love, um, what's deemed as normal um, in society, time, and even money. But I think that the biggest thing to overcome is your own mindset. When I realize that I'm at liberty to literally do anything, or at least try to do anything, my life changed for the better, and I'm sure that yours can too. So how might we genuinely innovate by increasing our exposure to new hobbies? Yeah.